Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, something strange is happening here. We're sitting in front of a Windows PC. Steam is open. Why Steam. are we here? I love Steam. It's where I use to why download you, most of my you, games. Why don't you marry it then, if you love um, it so much? It's not legal in my state. But uh -huh. Valve, the makers of Steam, updated Steam this past week Man, to include a lot of the big picture mode. Yeah, it says right here, new community. Now, this isn't in everyone's version of Steam just yet. This is in beta, uh -huh. so you have to opt in. I'll, I'll so, show you how to turn that on right okay. now. You yeah. just go to settings, Steam settings, mm -hmm. and then it says beta participation, and you click change, and you want to say Steam beta update, yes. Why are we excited about Steam's big picture mode, Norm? Because a lot of people, like Gary, run- And me. And, and you run PCs, or at least a video output from your PCs to your living room yeah. to play PC games on your big screen TV. But it's not very usable. Uh, because of interface. Well, so th so my typical workflow for getting a game running on the living room was to uh, knock a hole in the wall, run a cable through the wall from the computer room to the living room. You can pipe audio out of audio and video out of the HDMI signal, so that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. But in order to actually start the game, I'd have to go in, sit down in front of the keyboard and mouse, go to my library, find a game, click on it, and it took a couple of minutes. It was a big pain in the ass. And then if something happened, like a DirectX update happened or a game crashed or whatever, I'd have to get up off the couch, walk all the way back into the into the living room, and get it in front of a keyboard and mouse again. Or, or I guess I could have had squint. a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Squint on your big TV. Well, you, but you couldn't control this unless you had a keyboard and mouse in the yeah. living room. I usually just use a wireless controller and mm -hmm. don't carry a, a keyboard An and Xbox mouse controller plugged yeah. to the PC. So this mode, big picture mode, is made for big screen TVs. Let's just enable it right now. I just turned it on. Uh, I don't think we have sound on this on this capture, unfortunately. Um, uh, but, and also, so it's technically, it seems like it's, our taskbar is staying up. Uh, let's unlock that. I don't know what's going on. Well, usually the taskbar goes away on my yeah, machine at it's home. It's full screen. Uh, and this is a big interface made for, you know, living room TVs. I'm controlling this with a gamepad. Now, you can still control this with a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, it works just fine. You just click on stuff just like mm -hmm. you normally would. Uh, yep. So now I'm in a uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, now I'm on gamepad. It, it works super, it's super easy to so use. So now you're using gamepad and we just have a wired Xbox 360 controller plugged mm -hmm. into this PC. But of course, if you have a dongle, you can have a mm -hmm. wireless Xbox 360 controller. Dongle. Uh, what can you do with the Xbox controller in Big Picture? Uh, so, okay, so obviously you can buy games. I, did, I haven't bought anything yet. I, 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 let's buy Borderlands 2 right now. I wonder if I put my credit card number in. Let's get crazy. Wait, I'm not going to do that right now. Because uh, our internet's very, very slow today. Uh, but yeah, you can browse the store. You can buy DLC. You can do it. Like, the thing that they did really well, I, I would have been happy with them just giving you access to launch and play games. But what they've actually done is, is allowed you to do pretty much everything in Steam that you can do uh, on the desktop client with the with the big picture. You can mode. browse your library. The community stuff I thought on the desktop has, was pretty useless. Um, so how is the community on big picture mode? It's the same. It's, I mean, it's the same functionality. There's nothing changed. But you can see your friends list, and you can can you, you can, message them. Uh, yeah, you can message. You want to want me to send a message to Hojo the Great? Yeah, sure. Friend of ah, Tested. And now we have an interesting new interface for inputting text. Yeah. So of course you can just type. I mean, I can say hi, Hojo. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also use this this new radial menu. Uh, the way it works is you, you move the, the left thumbstick in the direction of the letters that you want, and then you hit one of the four uh, but colored buttons on the Xbox controller. You're using the Xbox controller buttons. I can uh, you know hit a space bar, which is the right button, and I will ask Kojo how things are in Canada right now, because he's in Canada. Oh, oop. Backspace, backspace. Uh, how are... It's a little slow, but it's faster than... Um, Scrolling uh, through a virtual keyboard exactly. on screen using the D-pad. And they can make uh, use of the analog stick, which is good because then you have, uh, you know, eight directions. Exactly. I'm 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 still typing. I, I wish I hadn't picked such a long sentence. Uh, Norm, save me. Well, this is definitely not as fast as a keyboard. Let's just back out of here. Oh, uh, okay. You can say Should hi. I send the message to Hojo. I don't know how to send. Oh wait, I just press. There we go. Cool. Okay. Okay. You have your friends. You have your groups. You um, use the triggers to go from uh, like pain to pain, kind of forward and back. It's a little bit weird. It took me a little bit of getting used to. There's also a web browser. Well, there has been a web browser in Steam, and the overlay works when in games. You can use the web browser with the gamepad. Ah. This works. This uh, is very interesting. It's interesting because it's something that Microsoft has tried with the Xbox mm -hmm. kind of unsuccessfully, I think. Uh, I find no myself never link? using Bing, Bing or Internet Explorer on, on the Xbox. Uh, and you're, are you doing a Google I'm search? searching for tested right now. Oh, there you go. And there we go, tested. Oh, and, oh, and you're, you're kind of browsing around. I'm using the left thumbstick to scroll around the page. It's, okay. it's kind of smooth scrolling. It works kind of like that weird mode on the on the Xbox. I mean, on, on when you mouse, middle mouse click on a Windows controller. Uh, and look, there I am with a giant YouTube button right in the middle mm -hmm. of my face. We should probably update the thumbnail on that. 
Um, but yeah, you, so you can play videos and everything. Uh, let me find a, a video down here. Let's talk about... Uh, yeah, and then this is HTML5 or Flash. And uh, will, Can you right-click? Uh, that's a really good question. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There you go. No, that's not a right no. click. I mean, it kind of is. I, I, you know, you're not going to do real work on here, but it's great. Like, I find myself looking looking up like a fact or something like that. You can even go to YouTube um, and uh, 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 look for like a, a video guide because YouTube right. works really well. And uh, I like that on the nav bar, you have instructions on how to navigate using the D-pad. Yeah. That, uh, that's great. And like I said, they tweaked a, a couple of key pages to work with this. There's some stuff that obviously doesn't work right. Uh, but for the most part, everything works well. Hey, that's our video on the top of YouTube. The front page of YouTube. Holy cow. That's amazing. We've hit the big time. Norman. All right, so let's start up a video game. You want to uh, play a game in yeah. Steam? That's crazy. Why yeah. would you do that? Well, because you can also browse the internet. Let's um, play a game. Hold on, there's a couple other things. Settings. Settings. It's all the settings from the mm -hmm. normal thing. You can control voice input. You can even set the voice uh, to work off of the gamepad. So you can if you're using plug in Xbox an gamepad. Xbox gamepad, you can use the headset, and that will work for it, voice. It doesn't sound great. No, those mics have uh, never been good. Yeah, they're, they're not very good. Uh, I, like, I wouldn't use this to play Team Fortress, obviously. So what happens in game? You can also control the overlay stuff, and you can take screenshots with the controller, which I think is really cool. Let's try that. Uh, so let's start a game. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to play Super Meat Boy, because okay. I love Super Meat Boy. Oh. This is one of the things that breaks down. This is a situation where I have to go into the other room and press a button. Uh, because of the way UAC works and the, the uh, Windows protection stuff, you can't actually authorize it. So in order to not have to go in and press the keyboard with the, with the Steam overlay mode, you are going to have to um, uh, uh, turn your UAC level down. It also seems like because we're on the Intel driver, we're running this on a MacBook instead of on a, a real computer. Um, it seems like because we're using the Intel graphics, it's uh, weird Not things are happening. Screen, yeah. yeah, but normally it would be full it, screen. It was full screen when I tested yes. it at home last night. Okay, so you're um, using still using the gamepad right now. I'm gonna go full screen right now. Okay. All right. It's probably gonna all don't, sorts of th bad things are gonna happen oh, now. Don't break the don't break the the demo. Perfect. Everybody wins. Okay. All right. So Joyce you're still, is a huge success. Okay. Still in game. You want, would you like to play? See, yeah, go go see if you can talk and play Super Meat Boy. There's no way. It's right, a, well, that's hopeless. Well, oh, my save. The game looks great. Transferred. I mean, you're playing at 720, 720p right now. But, 720p's. Uh, if we had 1080p, then it would be full screen and it would look. Yeah, great. it looked great on the on my on my Panasonic yep. at home. So what happens um, if you uh, want to get into the Steam wow. overlay? Uh, if you want to get into the Steam overlay, first you land on a safe spot. You press the home button just like on the Xbox. Oh, doing a Getting bit a little of bit of weird uh, popping stuff happening here. I don't know what's going on with that. Probably, probably because um, of the, the drivers right now. Yeah. So, but this, the overlay, overlay works. is the big picture mode overlay, not the traditional Steam overlay. No, it is. It is a big picture overlay. It's custom for this. Boy, that looks really terrible. Let's go to a different game and see if it's better. Um, and you can go to the web browser and do everything else. Oh, just like with the normal Steam overlay. Let's take a screenshot. Uh, that's a. That seems like I just took a screenshot, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Can you change your shortcut to take a screenshot? Uh, you can. I have not tried that yet. Mm. I'm going to exit this, and I'm going to go over to Bastion and see if that works better with the overlay so that people can see. Hey, I could add a friend. Um, no, I'm OK. I'm, I've got all the friends I need now. Navigate. No touch the mouse. Navigate oh, only using the controller. I, 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 can you do it? I, Home button. I, I, I'm, st I'm not in e. Steam overlay now. Oh, there you go. There we go. So now, yes. Uh, it's, something's happening with this machine where it's not going full screen. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. It's uncomfortable. And here again. You we'll see, thank you. We haven't run into these games on this computer. Uh, it, the nice thing is, if you have UIC set up right, it, meaning insecurely, mm -hmm. you can do Steam over. Like it, you just see this window instead of all the DirectX pop-ups and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's still not a bad idea if you're running uh, a computer oh in your living room to have a, some a wireless mouse at least. Uh, yeah, or just be prepared to walk into the other. Like if if you're if you're doing what I do, where you have a long HDMI cable that goes from your computer room to your living room, then it's not a big deal to get up and walk into the other room. If you're going to permanently install a gaming PC in your living room next to your stuff, you're going to need a wireless keyboard and mouse with it because because it is not. While you can boot directly into Big Picture or will be able to eventually, you this isn't this isn't something normal human beings. Do you are find yourself using Big Picture on your like you know twenty seven? Not in the, not on the real monitor. Not on the real monitor. No. no. Um, 
I mean, maybe it, when I'm playing console games. Like, if I'm sitting there playing Darksiders or something I'm using the gamepad for, I can see maybe using the big picture mode in the big room just uh, so you the have the overlay that's compatible. Well, the overlay for the regular PC version is nice because you can drag windows around your friends list and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, and you can't do that with this, no. of course. No, no. Um, although you can send voice messages. You uh, send, can send text messages. You can send voice messages. Uh, it, it's the kind of thing that I kind of make, kind of makes me wonder if the Xbox keyboard works with the with the controller. I didn't actually think to try that, but but that's a... It, it kind of would be a good question. Yeah, Interesting to see how it works. Small keyboard, suitable for a living room. And you know how I said our internet connection is real slow? Mm -hmm. Well, this is living proof. Mm. Um, so that's that's pretty much it on Steam Big Picture Mode. Uh, let's see if we can get a good display of the overlay. Uh, so Bastion finally launched. Okay. Uh, thanks, DirectX 17 updates. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. It's launching in full screen. Oh, it works! Yay! Yeah. And there you go. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the overlay. Mm -hmm. So you can you can see achievements. You can see which of your friends specific play. to this game. Uh huh. You can also go over and see your overall friends list. So if you're playing a multiplayer game, you can invite them in for this. Yeah. I expect to make a lot of the use for this next week when Borderlands 2 comes out. Do you have a Borderlands 2 buddy yet, Norm? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I think it's you. Oh, okay, that's good. Whew. It's a relief. Um, yeah, so you can scroll down, uh, invite friends, add friends. I don't think you can do a party yet. They, they seem to use that only in a fairly limited number of games. Mm -hmm. um, but you left trigger, right trigger, back to Steam. And of course, uh, I'm going to hit the home button again to go out. And let's see if we can take a screenshot. Yeah. Hmm. It looks like it needs a mouse. It looks like it wants a mouse for the opening uh, controls. No, it's no, no. I want, I want gamepad. There we go. There we go. That's what I like. Ooh. Ah, perfect. Oh, God, that was scary. I thought I was going to play a real PC game for a minute there. Oh, no, no, no. Borderlands. Yeah. And you know what? It'll probably load faster on your PC than on your console. Oh, and higher resolution, and better yeah. graphics. and it's, this, is the, this is the first step toward the new console. Um, okay, so the kid's awakening. Oops. Hitting right that home trigger. button. Hitting that home button. Home screenshot taken! Awesome. And it gives you a little thumbnail with the screenshot. Yeah. And so it's specific to what games you actually take the screenshot in, right? Yeah, so the, that stuff all shows up in community, and you can then go out here, and if you hook it to Facebook or whatever, you can share it uh, with friends. You can, you know, this is going to show up in the browser. I would have to log in here. I oh, think, not this, this ugly store. interface again. Oh, this looks terrible. Uh, but I can also share directly from here. So if I've hooked up Twitter and Facebook and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, is, you can, you that can do that. That is an awesome, awesome screenshot interface. I love it. This is pretty cool. Uh, so let's go back out. We have one more cool thing to show. Yes, this is a secret feature if you opt in to the big picture mode beta right now. This is not for normal people. No. Uh, you have to do weird console hacky stuff in right, order to so, get this to work. Uh, we're going to put down the gamepad. Um, and I put down, no, I don't, I don't want to put down the gamepad. I love the gamepad. Game pad, game pad's I, pretty I'm awesome. I have to put the gamepad down because I can't get out of here. Back out. B. Keep on pressing B. There we go. I had to, I had to press down. Cancel. Don't up. Oh, this is all the shares. OK, so it's beta for a reason. Yeah. I mean, this isn't. Shit is a little bit weird sometimes. Okay. Okay. So oh, 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 this looks like garbage. Oh, this is terrible. Especially on a, a giant 63 inch TV. Okay. So uh, we've actually launched Steam right now in, um, in developer mode. So, and yes. the way you do that is you go to your Steam executable. And executable, you mean? Executable. And you can add just right at the end uh, hyphen DEV yep. uh, after the quotes. A lot it of it has to be outside the yes. space, quotes, space, hyphen DEV. Mm -hmm. So find your Steam shortcut in your start menu or you know, create a new shortcut, uh -huh. put it on your desktop, and add hyphen DEV. You have to be obviously opted in into the beta. And then you also have to exit out of the Steam app entirely. So you have to get it out of your tr system tray, yeah. the whole nine yards and before, and restart. Restart Steam. Okay, okay, so we're in the console. Yeah. And in the console, you can type a bunch of commands, but there's a new command called install underscore folder underscore UI. What? So we'll just type it in. What? A new installed application manager pops mm -hmm. up. And what this allows you to do is to add new install directories. So for example, if you have a super fast SSD and a giant hard drive, mm -hmm. and you have games that you play occasionally and don't care if the load times are great, you put them on the hard drive. Exactly. If you have games that you play a lot, like competitively, say Team Fortress or Counter-Strike yep. or something like that, you want fast load times, you put it on the SSD. Basically, you're letting Steam install games not just within where your Steam directory is. Which is usually C, Program Files, x86, Steam. Or wherever you first installed yeah. Steam. Um, so the way this works is, you first add an install folder. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you it pops up. Pick it out in the root. 
it seems like there's some permissions issues with this, so you need to make sure that the permissions are correct on the folder you've created. Uh, you can go in and clone them from the Steam folder. We're not going to get into that here because it's too complex. There are how-tos on the internet that explain how to do that stuff. Alternately, you can just put it on your desktop or on the root of your other drive, so either your C drive or your D drive. Once you've done that and selected a second install directory... So we have one here called yeah. on our desktop super fast. It's, it's on imagine, the same drive. Imagine it's on an yeah. SSD. Yes, theoretically, it could be on another drive. So then when you go to install a new game, for example, example. Team Fortress 2. Yeah, I want to play that a lot. I love Team Fortress. I'm going to install the game. And then... Wait. Team Fortress 2 doesn't work because it's, a, it's, a, it's not a common. Uh, we need to do... Uh, let's do Braid. So we go to install the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says, hey, choose your install folder. And I'm going to put this on super fast instead of Steam because theoretically that's my SSD. I like Braid a lot. I hit next. We don't have enough disk space because we're out of space on this Mac partition. But you get the gist. Yeah. You choose where you want to put it, and you can have some games on your SSD without having to go through the hassle of Steam Mover, no, which is really nice. Unfortunately, this doesn't let you move your existing installed games. I would assume that that's why it's still hidden behind dev console commands. Right. So you can still use the Steam Mover, uh, all those third-party apps that let you do that. Or if you get tricky, just save the files, the common files, yeah. uh, and then reinstall the program. Um, so th that's definitely still beta. There's uh, permissions issues. It's a little bit weird. Uh, I would say that is for advanced users only, although if you're running an SSD on a hard drive, you're probably fit that, that, that category. So uh, that's Steam Big Picture mode. It's very cool. We've been waiting for it for a long time. They announced it like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, kind of real quiet like. And I think the best part of it is just how easy, or how relatively easy it is to type characters using gamepad. You are absolutely incorrect. The best part of it is that I can sit and launch and close and launch new games from the comfort of my couch without, without having, having to get up a keyboard and face the shame of walking into another room. Or having a wireless keyboard mouse. And my mouse. wife won't let me have a keyboard and mouse in the living room. Oh, so well, that, that, yeah. that is definitely a yeah. spouse specific problem. I'm very excited about this. You can see me uh, using it in such games as Super Meat Boy and Borderlands very soon. Uh, until the next time, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.